So Ronnie O'Sullivan starting his European Masters campaign against Nigel Bott to play Ronnie O'Sullivan on the main table. It's six nil to O'Sullivan on the head to head, but Alan Manis beating some top players as we know, beat Judd Trump a few years ago in the UK Championship. Let's see if he can produce some uh, some of his best stuff against Ronnie. And it, 6 0, but uh, four of them actually went to deciders. And Nigel Bond at the same venue, actually. See, the World Championship is the big money event. Boris been around, say, been there, seen it and done it, so he'll create his chances and here's one. It's just, yeah, a good solid pot. I'm going to say good defeats he suffered. Yeah, I well remember, I think he turned pro a, ye a year or two before myself and you know, every player's getting changes as they points on the board early on and off cushion oh, well played just uh, has the sport in his blood yeah, and it goes wrong difficult when you get those sort of chances there are six tables uh, here Milton Keynes and some big hitters. Evans and Stephen Hendry, which he did win. Beat Jimmy in the final. Of course, they turned that for O'Sullivan. And it's a great night to be here, full stop. I mentioned the other players in action as well. Of course, this event was supposed to be in crowd during the early days of the pandemic when everything was behind closed doors. Plays thin edge for Nigel. Oh, that's superb. All right. He's left an option. Oh, that'll do. Oh, wait. That was a feature of uh, the matches, this conditions. It's made a century. First frame against Lepo Fan. You can see him there just peeping over the top of that wall. The way to win in that tournament. There he is in the background. Final against Barry Hawkins. Delay the cue ball there. Now he's going to open up the black spot to deal with these five reds. Even there again. 那你這東西你怎麼你怎麼弄是吧?所以這就就不了,就不了這個太老,所以一手號還是要比多手號更加的優秀一些。It's in the play, through qualifying back in October. The bad news in a way for no the proper stuff against him, but when the chances come like this, he'll be fearing the worst for sure. And every one of them has been perfection as frame ball disappears. And there's just enough on for a century break. Being a bit up and down as a campaign, but of course he did win the World Grand Prix for Christmas. Ooh, Lewis stayed out. And the rocket off and running here on day one of the European Masters. It's a big three weeks here on Eurosport and Discovery Plus. We've got three tournaments in a row.
to right middle. He didn't bank on the other one, but Ronnie doesn't fall into the trap. You see, that that's, that's actually perhaps more ominously looks in a good mood. Tester. Not a problem. The top players thrive in. He's actually faster than him on the tour on the average shot times for the season. Yeah, I, don't, I think he missed a trick there, Ronnie. I think if he plays for pink, it'll go in the back. Of... Anything but full ball in the brown. Yeah, you can see there that's two shots been missed in this frame, one by don't hit the ball hard. It's a lot softer than you might think. See there you float you tend to float shots in. Well that green So like it's he lost to Stephen at his best. Problem was, so was Hendry. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of movement there, isn't it? Lingering. And that's usually the cause of the. Missions were cue ball. Is ultra play. Red. Cushion first. Ah, he got the red. No good. Back to bulk. Using pink. And... Oh, well. Oh, what a bonus. <laughs> and similar to what Ronnie was trying. Cover the red on the right. Try and get Ronnie. To play the two reds first of all, Nigel deciding that now's the time, and not a bad option because he. No, oh, not this time. Now this is a big open play. We might have a new favourite. That'll do. Good shot. We we'll have the same winning. Oh, and yeah, he's still in the frame, but he's passed up. Well, guilt edge chip and not much came of it, I'm afraid. Well, that's actually he brought the green in. Positionally, it should be, but 
I think that the, the way he played the red there, it's, it's almost like he's overcomplicated. But let Ronnie take care of that. You, you take care of your side of the bargain. But him. Who doesn't appear to come to the man at the table yet. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Leading 2-0. Won the first against Jack Zowski. Liam Highfields won the first against Dave Gilbert. And Sahil Vahidi is 2-0 up against Ashley Carsey. So Red's still got a chance. Yeah, not to be. It's not so much about what you look at, but it's what you're in problems. That it's just normal. Not, look, not so much looking for problems, but seeing things that aren't there. Once again here. Seventeen. The Blythe Championship was uh, really, really impressive, but Dan Mark Williams, the other two, the Holy Trinity, they uh, won the first matches, couldn't win the second. Nigel yeah, that looked okay. All right, the cue ball was a bit... Yeah, I mean, he's probably made more mistakes, O'Sullivan, in the last minute <laughs> than he did in the first two frames. Just looks relaxed, but at the same time, focused on what he's doing. That one in the left. Well, it's not going to matter now. I have to play it quietly. Nah. You see, again, the tension. The occasion this is for him. Especially as you know, he's facing relegation on the tour. This may be his last. Uh, surprised he didn't. And got it. Brilliant shot. Yeah, another great. A wee bit, yeah, see a little bit of movement through the. Well, the first red. Way, it's just in the way of his, his season, and you know when you get to spin the cue ball back up, brilliant shot. That's a bonus, yes. I mean that's a outrageous fluke, but it was a pins. Five. When a guy like this frame here and now, a guy flips a red like that and unlucky, and I, but guys like John and Ronnie, and that's the right way. Not easy to think that way, but and <laughs> spin it in for top side of the blue or bolt colour. Points. Hole these last few shots and he's in position. It colours and he'll be 3 0 in front. Thirty one. Thirty nine. This is frame ball. Place in round two. <laughs> well, that seems especially cruel, doesn't it? Ronnie O'Sullivan. One and whoever finishes top of the order of merit 
gets a £150,000 bonus. Judge Trump has already trousered that twice, but... Just leave it. One. On table two against Lei Pei Fan. Seven. Fifteen. Seven percent going something around that number at the moment. I don't know how many times and, and just play a snooker. Ah, oh, no. Oh, well, he might have still got this red. He has. Well, <laughs> even there, just not getting through the cue ball. Nothing going. Even there, not getting. Didn't really go into them with. There to help you. Congratulations, by the way, to the GB rink 1 3 against Japan. But even that, you know, like any other sport, like a lot of other sports, you've got teammates and people to help you. Just has slipped down the list. That's where the audience would be. Down this end, perhaps. Fighting as hard as he can to get next chance. The red only trying to push red. Because when you break it all down and try and simplify it, that is all you can do. Just something else on that. Legacy is secure if the youngest queue up tomorrow. Three winning tournaments, reaching finals. Every plus at 10 o'clock UK time in the morning. <laughs> Wait, like rolling it down the bathtub. Difficult to get it to stop, Phil Paul. Just trying to leave the cue ball in this corner. The, the other bad news from Nigel's side of things is that Ronnie, at the minute, seems to be enjoying it. Ten, a dozen shots, here goes the plant. Good cue ball. Needs a bit of help, and he's got it. Seems to be continuing tonight.
He wouldn't have even looked at the brown. I can understand him playing it. There's no Oh, this is perfect. What a shot. Let's see if that's all you're doing. You can't really judge it with any great. Look at the reds if this one disappears. And there's the difference, Bond, a few moments ago. His confidence. No, not this time, though. Good news is, this is quite an easy cover. So, cushions. Just shy of pace, but a good line. As I said earlier, it can maybe turn around again on Bond's shot. Nigel Bond's got a useful lead, but... Leaving this type of chance, he feels that Ronnie's going to make the game as much as you possibly can. Again. We've probably got a new favourite, and then it goes. Just looking at there, it obviously passes, but push cannon on the blue. Yeah, I think he may have got to hit this free ball waiting. Good hit. And now Nigel deciding to defend, but uh, he's left the gap. Can get cushion first and then a thick brown back up table. Yeah, good shot. That's a good shot. That was deliberately played. Just been. So up and down table twice. No, I decided it probably was. It, actually, when we got to see the camera shot from Nigel's perspective, so... Ronnie, as usual, trying to make good use of the three colours. No. Ah, good shot. Well, two tonight. Target for a place in round two. Ronnie. Nigel Bond won the fourth frame, quite a lengthy frame before the interval. 
but uh, prior to that he was struggling badly. O'Sullivan side. Impressive, but he's not been converting the good safety into making the most chances thus far. I think what would be really. Yeah, and, and sometimes when you've got the comfort of knowing you've got a good cue ball with the tuck in and where the reds are, I guess it's the one in the open. No, oh, that's no good, obviously. Just one more needed, and easy. Top side here, and into the face of the pink. Four. Won that frame, so it's four to up on table two. Been some uh, big hitters going through today, as I mentioned earlier. Can to join them? The blue just hung the pace off that one. It's next red. Well, try and power through them. But even that was brilliant. He almost stunned that. The other thing is, Eight. we're being busy and he looks very, very sharp. You've got to say that. There's clever shot again, trying to open the black up. Didn't get it. Brilliant at it. There's elements of the sport, the professional sport. He doesn't try to cut that red in, didn't quite manage it. So Nigel Bond with a chance here. In a player he is. He'd been around for so long, winning these big titles. It probably is not a bad. He still plays an awful lot of snooker exhibitions and took something together, keep his hopes alive. I mean, actually, despite struggling tonight to put the breaks together, we we'll still see him around. He does a lot of coaching. And, uh, there. I'll just drift past it. A little cannon. Oh no. Yeah, I think just to follow on what you were saying, I'd say, so he'll know where the running routes are, for example, in Milton Keynes. Snooker. So he makes, a, as you say, a sort of a holiday of it. 16. Yeah, around the back of the yellow. Two cushions, quite an easy shot for these guys. The only thing is a brown, which he's avoided. It's all but done and dusted. And a good performance all in all. Yes, he's given up. And Nigel didn't really threaten him. Pushed, as will happen the deeper he goes. How will he respond then? But he's played well tonight. Swishes to Nigel Bond, as we say, he's been a great servant of this sport. 37. First time they played on tour in 24 years. The bad news for Bond is. And he is the winner. The century of the previous frame.